Hey, 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 this is the boat doctor here. <clears throat> anyway, on this 2005, Kurt, of course, that's me. You can't see me, but I can see you. Anyway, out here in this 26 Seasport XL, it's a 2005. I'll tell you right off the top, as far as ride and running conditions, this boat's excellent. It's very smooth, quiet, very responsive. Cruise is really good at like 4200. Don't use a lot. Don't use a lot of fuel. <clears throat> Most of this stuff works, but you know there's some oddballs like the nav lights. I got to look at that. There's one of these. You know, just put this boat back together and just clean it really good. This would be an awesome fishing boat. I mean, offshore, it's got a lot of deck area. Uh, I don't know if the sink. I, I see that needs to be replaced right there. It's down there. I don't know if the holding tank works on that. I did. They put new tanks in here, so port and starboard works. I was I flicked the switch back and forth, and it reads on the fuel gauge right here. And I ran them both, so I know they're picking up. No leaks. I could say this boat could be an awesome boat. Uh, just needs some minor little fixes. Beauty, some beauty screens or, or screws are missing off the deck back there. Uh, now the wars down again. I I don't know. That could be on one of these accessories, but I tried all that. And that's your horn right there. This is for your backlight, deck light. This one, I believe over here doesn't work. It's right there. Uh, the other one just it didn't, but it started working on this side. And, uh, so, and then you press it again, like right here. And press it again, press it again. Then that front light bar works. It's kind of a funky setup, but it works. And there's your horn. Blower, I don't know why he has that cockpit lights are those lights behind me bilge pump they need to fasten those down they do work I can hear them <clears throat> so the only thing I didn't check at VHF works this is just GPS only it works that's radar but if you want radar overlay you got to get a heading sensor like a point one or an RS I think they call them 35 GPS antenna then you can do an overlay on top of that but everything on that works great like I say, I, I'll punch in here. I'll go to uh, sonar. That works. We're on 200 kilohertz, 58 degrees, so that's about right. I'll go to side scan. And that's at 455. That's looking good. But what I could do is just hit into here, go into advanced, TVGs 2, flip left and right. No, we don't want to do that. Uh, Frequency is fine, auto 180. Uh, we want range lines. So I just put those on for you. Or whoever and then we'll go to down scan right here oh fish reveal right on top this is good 455 we'll go into the menu we'll go to fish reveal options that's what you were just seeing more options we want range lines so that means that 10 feet 12 about 15 feet to 12 feet there's fish okay so anyway got that set so that all works just uh, GPS that works this is actually pretty fast radar that works instruments I don't think you got a lot there to be honest with you oh they never even configured that huh that just gives you your depth your latitude and longitude and course over ground And there you go 237 degrees we ain't going in depth and water temp and volts and time so there you go uh, so what we'll do for right now I know the water so I'm just gonna leave it on this because I got my GPS sitting over here and then I'm gonna go back here and again I turned the switch on I don't know there could be a hidden switch somewhere yeah, that's froze up. So I'm ten. There's a switch right there. So that does work. That's an odd place, but so he must have had to rewire it.
That's which I don't have a clue what that's for. Unless... Nope, anchor lights still don't work. So we'll shut that off so that does work. Like I say, I mean, you clean this sucker up, this would be a good boat. Because it sure runs good. And that steps, they need to fix or just take it off and clean all the compartments up okay so that way i can look over at the speed right there so you can see <clears throat> so just fire this motor up this motor up trim cam sensors need adjustments they don't work i don't believe let's go down okay the port one does the starboard one doesn't Yep, see that's working right there. But look at it, it needs adjustments. Because there's no way. Tax look good, you got 1141 hours on this, the port motor, 1133 on the starboard. See, it go went all the way to the top, I'm not to the top, so it needs adjustments. <clears throat> so go all the way down. See how it's working its way down when I'm already stopped. So that means that. Okay, again, make sure the motors, if you want help going to the right, just steer your wheel. The steering does need to be bled. Put this one in reverse, this one ahead, and you'll just spin in one spot. Just like that. And you can see us, if you're going too fast ahead, just pull this one back. Get that one a little bit more in reverse. Get that a little bit more crank there. Now, if you want to go the other way, then you just give the wheel a crank to the left a little bit. Put this in reverse. Hit this one ahead. And then this, there you go. And I use this to back it up a little bit more throttle. And this one, there you go. Look how fast the thing's spinning. Okay, so that's that trick. Okay, now what we're going to do trim tabs work. Tax work, fuel gauge, we're on the starboard tank. See how the fuel level's right there? I'm going to go over to port. <clears throat> Trim that down, wait a second. And it should start switching over on that. It did, i just seen it move. Yeah, see how it dropped? So that even the gauge works for both tanks. <coughs> so we're going to take off. I mean, very quiet boat. <laughs> so like I say, you hit it. It gets right up on top. Let it get up on top before you use the trim tab at all. Then trim your motors. Very smooth. Now, and then don't oversteer the boat. There is some air in that line. But look how that, I ain't even using the trim tabs right now. I just trim the motors up and look at it go. So right there is 4,940 miles an hour, 33. So it kind of takes split the difference as your axle because this can be different than this sometimes. So just split it, so let's say 35, see how it's going to 33. And then full throttle, it just barely hits the rev limiter. There's, it does go up to the trimmed up, 6,000, so I can get 6,000 on both motors, trim down, but see I'm saying it's real quiet, so then we're going to go down, trim this down, uh, trim the tabs up, right here, bring this back, Make sure these down. Okay, I'm going to shut off the starboard motor, which is that one over there, and I'm going to trim it up. Right. Just get the boat going. There you go. Trimmed up. You want that out of the water when you try it? So what I'm trying here, 
is I'm trying to get this boat up with one motor. I'm going to hit, since it's already kind of leaning one way, and I want this one all the way down, right here. I'm going to hit this one Now I see it's leaning, so I'm going to hit this trim tab button to get her to straighten out. Then hit, give it some more throttle. Then bring it. There you go. It will plane on one motor. Now I'm going to bring the tab up a little bit on that side. We're doing 19, 20 miles an hour. Now I'm going to start trimming the motor up. Right there sounds good. 4,800, 47, 24 miles an hour. 25. So that tree is 27. Go to have 27 means 30. It's so about 30 miles an hour on one motor. Look at that. So you can get back. So if you got it up on top, you can bring this thing down. Oh, you could cruise in easy because I'm only doing 4,300 at 25 miles an hour. Look at that. 24.8. I'll give it just a little bit, and that ain't even really working the motors. Just give it a little bit more, just to see if you keep it above 24. Ha! Huh, that's awesome. All right, this is the Boat Doctor. Uh, 2005 Sea Sport. I mean, I actually think it's better than the new ones. Uh, as far as riding and handling, I can't, I can't complain. So just make sure you trim that motor back down again. Look at your tack. So that one is off. That one's on. So you can leave this one here. But once you get it down, look back. Radio works, you can hear that. So then I want to hit that motor back on again. There you go. And there you go, you're good to go. All right, hey, actually, like I say, take a little good cleaning, a little, you know, maybe a guy wants to buy it the way it is. See what kind of a deal you can get because the majority of the stuff works. So it'd be a little bargaining for you. You can say, well, hey, I'll, because it is awesome handling and running. So, uh oh. Oh, someone's missing. All right, uh, boat doctor out. I, I think out. I have to hit my little stop button.